good morning, you guys. Thanks for coming on up today. So I'm going to start a sentence, and let's see if we can come up with an ending for it, okay? So here's the beginning. It's about time. What might we say after that? It's about time. Any ideas? Do we have to ask them what they think? And prime the pump a little bit? Okay, who has a suggestion? It's about time to eat. What else? To get up? To go to worship? <laughs> to go to bed? Okay, you hear all those great answers? Can you think of any others? It's about time for spring. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, we have to make it through winter first, though, don't we? It's about time for winter to end. You're getting tired of winter already? Oh my goodness. You, you sort of missed that snow on Christmas, didn't you? Yeah. Well, we, got, we have some today. Does that help? Little New Year's snow, right? Yeah, I understand that. It's nice to have snow on Christmas. That's true. Well, so we have, we could, a lot of different things we say, it's about time. Maybe we hear it said a little bit on the sharp side. It's about time. Like, you cleaned your room, right? <laughs> it's about time you get dressed. Okay, so we talk about time in a lot of different ways, don't we? Do you know, today is the last day of the year. So, there's some other things we could say. It's about time. I have a couple of books here. These are desk calendars. And because I'm an old guy, I still do like to have paper calendars to write on and stuff, you know? So this one says, what does it say on there? 2023. This one says... 2024. So I'm switching over, aren't I? Because it's about time to get a new calendar. The year is changing. Now, here's a calendar as well. This is a 2023 calendar. And each month on the top picture has pictures of my grandchildren. I have five. So that's kind of fun to think of as that month goes, it reminds me of times past, right? When we had some special times together with the grandkids. So we can kind of, as we think about time, have some memories that go with it. We also might, as we think about time, look forward to things. Now you all know about ways of telling time, right? Clock like that, or a clock like that. Yeah, so we, we think of time in a lot of different ways, especially as the new year approaches. But also in the Bible reading we had, it talked about time. It said when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son. God sent us Jesus. When the time was right. It doesn't say when it was December 25th or when it was a, a Sunday or whatever, God sent his son. It just when the time was fully come. And God is at work in our time, right? God is at work in our time now, too. Just as Jesus came into the world in human time, God is at work in our lives, in the days of our lives. I don't know exactly how God is going to be working in our lives in 2024, but we can be sure that God is going to love us, care for us, guide us in the new year ahead and in the years that follow, right? It's nice to know that Jesus is with us. Jesus came into this world as one of us, in our time, right? To share our time with us and to lead us all the days of our lives. Shall we pray together? You can repeat after me. Dear God, dear God, thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus at just the right time. At just the right time. Help us to know, help us to know that he is with us, that he is with us all the time. All the time. Amen. Thank you for coming on up today. I appreciate that.